All right, so here she is, the former UFC strawweight champion, Thug Rose Nama Yunus. Amazing what she was able to do against Ioana Guillaume Jacek times two. Another big spot for the 115 pounder here tonight. And John, for as impressive as that first young Jacek fight was, I believe the second one was even better because it showed the true evolution of Rose Nama Yunus. To be able to stand for 25 minutes and outstrike Ioana Young Jacek was truly, truly something special. Initially, she was one of those fighters that was trying all kinds of things and wasting actions. Right. But now, as she won the belt, you saw her really find herself, and it showed in the second Young Jacek fight. And there she is, folks. Close on the Yunus. Ready to engage in another high-profile matchup here tonight. For my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight up. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl. And she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Tonight's tale of the tape. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC strawweight champion, Fog Rose Narayunas! And now introducing our opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Keisha the Tiny Tornado Torres! Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, Thug Rose Navajunas ready to go here. Round one, Trevor Whitman firmly in her corner and might be a little bit of a feeling out process here tonight. She's not afraid to see what's coming back before registering her attack. Rose Navajunas in another big one tonight. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. She's got the single collar tie. Oh, she's been working on her defense. Kick block there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nama Yunus going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. All right, so Thug Rose Nama Yunus mixing it up pretty well here in the early going with her kicks and, of course, that patented jab as well. Yeah, she pops that jab. She's so fast. And you can hear her corner telling her, Rose, stay on the jab, stay on the jab. She's so good at maintaining distance, and she's very tall for the weight class. Rose Namajunas has now figured out how to use her width to her advantage inside the octagon. Takedown defense is there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Just out of range with that right hand. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand to be very active. Thug Rose going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. 
Lands a solid kick right there. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, she gets the high kick hole. That left hook was crazy. Namajunas gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of there. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. Had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. And potentially a critical takedown here. She's stepping over the mount here. Mm, nice. Well, Nama Yunus is back in full now. Less than two minutes now to go. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Rose Nama Yunus. Let's work. I'll stand this up. You need to work. Grinding. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Oh, she's got the arm tight. She's got it isolated. Oh, what a transition as she goes belly down. There it is. Oh, she got out. She got the submission of defense going. What a beautiful display by this young lady. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nama Yunus. Great slip. Even though her opponent's throwing, she's not finding much success. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. Good job by the... Good shot by her there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so there's the end of the round. We're going to get you some replays here. Her submission offense is outstanding, just unable to get it tight enough there. She's such a great grappler. She manipulates you so well on the ground that you see why people try to avoid grappling with her at all costs. But she got the fight where she wanted to. She almost got the submission that would have ended the fight. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And if you like the submission game, you nearly saw the fall. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. But she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Thug Rose going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. All right, so the jab lands yet again for Thug Rose. Nama Yunus really starting to mix things up well. Right she does it all. I mean, I think Rose Nama Yunus is one of the best athletes in the strawweight division. She fights long. She stays behind the jab, and she uses her kicks to make sure that she's that great and safe. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick. No good. 
effective use of the jab there. Oh! Gotta keep pressing. She's got her hurt. Gotta look for the finish. Oh, with authority, the body. Put your hands up higher. Come on. <laughs> nice takedown defense there. Promptly scrambles back to her feet. Well done. saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Well, Nama Yunus' thigh starting to show serious signs of bruising now. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Let's go. Work on those well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Torres. Well, we haven't really seen her famed jiu-jitsu game just yet, but of course, if it's not broken, don't fix it, and she has realized a ton of success with her striking her team. Every day, you have to... Oh, oh she's hurt, yep. Oh, she went to the counter left, unable to land. Under two minutes to go. Seventy-six total strikes have now landed for Rose Namajunas. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Tisha Torres. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, and she raises the knee and lands, so a pretty good sign for her that she was able to find a home for that knee. When she's got the knees working, she's fighting really good, so right now she must feel great. Oh, kick to the head. That'll oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. All right, side control for her now. And you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me your back. Oh, she's got her back. In the half guard. This is a terrible position. Final seconds here of round two. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard, I would say. Yeah. Uh -huh. Grounded and pounded. There's the horn. Round over. And it couldn't have come any sooner for that fighter on bottom. She was defending as best she could, but you thought maybe the referee was going to step in there. Instead, she goes back to the stool. She will survive to see another round. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of it. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end a fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round on the way. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She's oh, 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 probably her 
best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Ball on ball, nicely done with the high kick. Nama Yunus going for the body, missed with that kick. Oh, beautiful by Rose. Oh, big elbow. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. Try to establish that jab. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. That was a nice break. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Nama Yunus's left calf does not look good. You see the welt, you see the obvious signs of bruising. Don't want to take too many more of those. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. That's the side kick now. Just unable to quite find that range. Left hand connection and a right. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, swing and a miss. How about the slip by her there? What a great job of moving her head right at the right time. so that she can evade her opponent for finishing it. Oh, she lands a massive knee to the head. Oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, nice kick. Just missed with the elbow there. Pinpoint execution on the hip toss there. She's able to take her down. Her opponent felt like she knew this attack would be coming. She couldn't stop it there. But she did not see the setup. She did not see her opponent push into her, inviting her to push back. The moment she pushed back, boom, time to go for a ride. Oh, huge connection by her there, DC. The seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Man, she's hurt her opponent several times in this round. We acknowledge the durability on the other side, but... Oh, another one! That opened up a cut around her eye area. Gotta shore up the defense. Yeah, she's gotta move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Oh, she landed a solid punch there. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive shots. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see what? You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. What a kick that one landed. It's amazing how visibly discouraged she is after getting stunned earlier in the round. It's not as though she was knocked down. She's still very much in this fight, but she has lost every moment since. She's been getting beat now, beat to the punch. She got hurt. She's not doing a good job of building back and dealing with the adversity that she was dealt earlier in the round. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Fifteen seconds. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Rose Namajunas. Shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. 
All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. Ready to fight. Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. She's got that single collar in the clinch now. She does a great job breaking that clinch position. Oh, beautiful jab. She has certainly found the range with that weapon, and I guess when you have a reach advantage like this, you might as well use it. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh, her striking looks good. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. Now she misses with the left punch there. Torres is swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, going for the takedown here. They have probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch. Oh, how good was the timing on that ankle pick? All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Just over three minutes to go. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. got to address it. You can't laugh at it now. You can't laugh at all. You've got to do a better job. Was a big check. Okay. Oh, Takedown defense holds up. Seemed like she wanted out of the clinch there. Oh, she continues to punish the body yet again here, just as she did in the previous round. More than one. More than one. The That's the danger in the engagement there. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. A swing and a miss by Nama Yukes. Right, you're doing great, girl. You're doing great. Breathe and relax for me. Good. Stay relaxed. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh. Oh, she is as relentless as any striker on this roster, man or woman, eternally aggressive with her strikes. Got to be careful, of course, not to gas out, but so far so good for her here in this round. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback. Stop this, you're going at it. There it is again. Look at it. Well, Nama Yunus is cut, folks. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Let him go. Time to let those nice straight right, Lance. 
Big shot to the head. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Oh! oh. Entertaining scrap so stop, stop. far. Stop. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, things are getting interesting, folks. She is back to the stool, appears to be breathing okay, but a huge cut on the bridge of her nose. Yeah, when you get cut there, it's hard to breathe. Your mouth starts to go open a Good little fight. bit. But the blood becomes an issue. She was not locked in defensively, and that punch right there opened up the cut on the bridge of her nose. Oh, nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. <laughs> Slip that one. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. End this fight. End it. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon. Oh, this is exactly right there. I do not doubt her. Still standing. She's still standing. But she's got to get on the bike, Tyson. she can evade her opponent from finishing with it. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Torres' eye is starting to swell shut. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Rose Namajunas. Another strike gets through from the top position. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Let's go. Push, push, push. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nama Yunus is back to the side control now. Well, we're not close to a stoppage, but every time that area in the eye gets hit, it's getting bloodier by the minute. Yeah, it gets bloodier by the minute, and you start to worry because you can only take these types of shots for so long before it gets to a point where you're just in very, very big danger. Well, I'm not sure if there's an injury or something, but here we are late in this fight, and she absolutely needs a finish. Digs right into the body, and she is clearly hurt, DC. She's hurt very bad. I don't know if she's going to be able to recover from this. Big body kick land. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really become... Oh! And that'll do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, so... Big, big knockout win for her here tonight. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. Uh, two minutes, 47 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tisha the Tiny Tornado Torres.
Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks, and this is a massive moment for her.